Money Talks with President Big Bucks. 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 Yeah. Money Talks with President Big Bucks. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Money Talks with President Big Bucks. Grab your cup of hot chocolate and join me for our topic today. Banking. Last week, I was listening to ET on YouTube getting my daily motivation when suddenly up popped a video called My Bank Account by a rapper named 21 Savage. Here is a video clip. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. 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 I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. In my bank account. In my bank account. In my bank account. As I listened further, he said he spent $7,500 on a Saint Laurent jacket, bought Gucci, and iced out chains. Throughout the song, he rapped about spending his money on all these expensive items. I said to myself, how does he have so much money in his account with all that spending? His video had over 200 million views. I see a lot of people are listening to his song and probably influenced by his lyrics. I researched him further and found an article online stating, 21 Savage had traded in his expensive jewelry and cars to invest in real estate. He's also teaching youths about building wealth. Wow, I was impressed that this young man realized iced out jewelry, expensive clothes, and cars have no value. It is a total waste of money. Eventually your car will break down, you'll get too fat for your clothes, and someone will probably steal your chains. Now, this brings me back to my topic of banking. Do you have a bank account? If so, are you putting more money in it than you are taking out of it each month? If you have a checking account only, are you spending money and paying bills out of it? Checking accounts are mainly for that purpose only because you do not get any interest on your money. If you have a savings account, that means you are depositing your money and not spending it carelessly. You have a saving goal in place. Now, savings accounts do pay interest on your money, but it is a small amount, so make sure you shop around for a bank that pays the most interest on your money. I believe it is important to have a bank account. It's almost impossible to do anything without one. For instance, you can't use your PayPal or Cash App without one. Many people use Cash App to send their money to their family and friends. One thing to always remember is to protect your bank account number and debit card. There are criminals who make their living off stealing your hard-earned money out of your bank account. Here's my advice. 1. Don't ever give someone your PIN number or bank account number. 2. Make sure your bank account is set up for text alerts so you'll be told about any suspicious activity. 3. Don't give your creditors your bank account number. Instead, give them your debit card number. This way you can cancel your debit card instead of closing your bank account. 4. Make sure you go to reputable ATMs to withdraw money. Don't go to your neighborhood party store to withdraw, and especially avoid the machines at Winkly Dink gas stations. 5. Always carry a little cash so when you are in the area that you don't want to use your debit card, you can pay for your purchase. Here are some life rules to financial empowerment. Don't say no one ever told you. 1. Do your research on the best bank for you. Find out about all their fees and deposit requirements so you don't come across any nasty surprises later on. 2. Do not spend more than what is in your account. You are going to pay a ton in overdraft fees and that's just throwing money away. 3. Set up an emergency account and deposit 5% of your income into this account each month. You only use this money for an emergency. Black Friday shopping is not an emergency. 4. Have a Pay Myself First savings account and deposit 10% of monthly income into it. 
This should be your growth account where the money is used to invest in stocks and retirement funds. 5. The key is having a life of financial prosperity. Don't spend more than you earn. Absolutely never spend all your money on bills and expensive things. Keep your bills low so you can invest and grow your money. Will Smith said, Whatever your dream is, every extra penny needs to go to that. Ask yourself, is my money funding my dream? I want you to thrive in the real world. You know what's even better than big bucks? Big change. Dream big, think big, do it big. Brought to you by The Big Institute. www.thebiginstitute.org Subscribe to our YouTube channel today.